So greetings and happy Saturday. It's Mike's from LiveMyAssOff.com. I'm actually talking kind of softly, certainly softly for me, um, mainly because I feel like I'm almost at the library of schools. <laughs> it's very peaceful here, uh, which is, of course, what you pay for. Oh, so I am back at Bahia Honda National Park. Uh, or, uh, sorry, Bahia Honda Florida State Park is more appropriate. Um, 28 years later. And one of the uh, first things that I noticed was the depth of the beach. Meaning, like, from here to there. I think it's like half what it used to be. So, say what you will about global warming or global freezing or climate change. Dude, look at these pelicans. These things are friggin' awesome. Do you think when they like swim in or fly in pairs like that and one of them gets a fish and the other one doesn't, they mock the other one and say, dude, like, are you a pelican? Or are you a pelican? Maybe not. So it's interesting to sort of reflect on uh, the way it was um, and appreciate the way it is now. Uh, <laughs> The level of tranquility is uh, identical. Oh, no, so it's interesting. So I came in and, you, you know, the standard sort of national park thing, you go through, there's a road, and you go 15 miles an hour, and then you go in and out of parking lots, and then you reach an end, and you can turn around. And a lot of it is one way. Oh, cool, There's a, there was this guy actually back at the parking lot doing these, doing, he's got, you know, how you have the two sticks and a piece of string, and then you do these gigantic uh, bubbles. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. But basically, I'm going to spend the entire afternoon just following this one bubble. Or, I'm going to blow that off and just walk on the beach. Six of one, really. So, okay, so I remember being here. And uh, one of the changes is there is no longer windsurfing allowed. Down at this part, I noticed, uh, there's some signs as you come into the parking lot as there are with most state parks, telling you what not to do. <laughs> it's very, very positive reinforcement. Thank you for coming. Now, here are all the things you can't do. Uh, but here, so here's what's interesting. So I pull up and uh, some, you know, this is gonna be like a whole comparison of, of, of differences. Uh, and I'll probably give my opinion on whether I think it's better or worse. Um, what, I, what I've noticed is the people that work at a state park, um, and I, and it's one of those things where you don't, I, I didn't, I don't really sort of acknowledge it or even pay attention to it at home because these are the places that I go to regularly. Whereas, you know, three decades later, when you come back somewhere, it's like, Hey, this used to be like, so that's what I'm doing while I'm down here. One of the things is the people that work at the national parks, state parks, state parks, sorry. Um, they seem to be older, uh, potentially re retired age. 60s that sort of thing um uh and uh i recall and i don't know whether they're volunteers or not um but i recall when i was coming down here the people that were working here were in in, co in like college students um which was cool for me because i was like 18 19 and you know it's like oh my god a 21 year old girl an older woman <laughs> uh and um, that was, uh, let's see. Oh, okay, so here's another contrast. When I pulled up, it was $4.50 to come in with my car and just me. And I think, and you know what's gonna happen? The back of this camera is black and all it is is absorbing sun as I walk along. So that's gonna suck. Um, and I didn't bring the GoPro, which is totally lame. And so therefore I'm not gonna be able to do this underwater stuff, but, um, I'm gonna have a good time regardless, so thanks for supporting me. Uh, the It was $4.50, which was about the same, I think it was the same price, maybe it was only $4, for the place in, um, in Fort Lauderdale. Now that uh, was on, you know, like Fort Lauderdale Beach, like this huge beach. And here, uh, obviously it's, it's smaller um, and gorgeous, so. I was willing to pay the extra 40 cents <laughs> but in comparison I honestly don't 
feel, I don't certainly don't remember exactly what it was, but it wasn't like I saw it and I thought, oh my God, 450, this place. <laughs> I was like, but really, only 450? It was one of those things where I thought, man, did this even increase in price? And it was funny, right? Because the brown, you know how the brown is traditionally like the signs for state parks? They had, uh, you know, you could tell that they had put stickers on and, and the price had changed over the years. And uh, I really was, I really wanted to find out how much it was like when I was here, 30, tw uh, 28 years ago. So the guy's like, oh, have you ever been here before? I said, oh yeah, it's good to be back, ha, ha, ha. So I was here 28 years ago. And, uh, and, and, she, and so the, another woman behind him, also of, of vintage, she, uh, she said, oh, has it changed much? I'm like, I don't know, I don't think so. I said, I think you guys have the same building in front. Um, I, I will say that uh, it's cleaner. <laughs> uh, the, um, the bathrooms were really clean. Um, that was pretty cool. Um, and of course, over the years, right? So they have those, um, you know, flushless toilets and all the things that sort of like save water and everything. Uh, the roofs on the um, on the buildings they replaced with, you know, those 50 to 100 year metal roofs. Um, and who knows whether that was just like sort of part of the upgrade plan or whether that was a requirement um, from some storm they had or whatever. That is a poison wood tree. And I don't know how they determined that. I can tell you that <laughs> 28 years, there was this one that used to like hang out over the, over the, uh, over the water. And I remember laying in it and you know, with my girlfriend like, hey, take my picture, this will look really cool. <laughs> I'm not dead. Maybe after enough people did that, they were like, so we figured out it's a poisonous tree probably don't want to touch it sir you're gonna to have to stop licking the tree but here's what's really cool about the whole nature thing and I guess if you're a real estate developer this is gonna bum you out but there is a lot to be said for a state park stay, staying a state park and they're not being you know 40 to 50 condos every hundred feet um, now, if I were to buy one of those condos, of course, I would want one of those condos to be there because I want to buy that condo. <laughs> um, but I really like this. This is this is really awesome. And uh, again, I don't know how good my lens is on this camera. <clears throat> and uh, when I take on and off, actually, when I take off my glasses, the water looks better. It looks greener. Um, and it's absolutely a paradise, baby. Absolutely paradise. I can't remember how far down this goes. Um, there are some things that I'm like, oh, I hope that much whatever is there. Uh, one of the things is um, I hope that the uh, that tree that juts out over the water is is still there. Um, I you know it, here's what was funny. So when I was selling my house, I had a whole bunch of pictures, right? And now these pictures, as well as you know cassette tapes and that sort of thing, it's like they'd moved from house to house to house to house with me. And probably the first time I moved it, it was cool. I moved it from the living room to the next living room. And then I moved it from the living room to the garage. And then I moved it from the garage to the back of the garage. And then I moved it into boxes with tape on it. And then I moved to boxes with duct tape on it. And they always sat in the garage. So I thought, okay, well, this is, you know, these, these pictures are interesting. And it's going to be sort of a, you know, a nice nostalgic, cathartic experience to look over them. But at the end of the day, I'm not really using them. So I threw them all away. And some of the ones I had were of me down here. Um, when I was 18 and I had a lot of hair. Actually, when I was 20 was the last time I was down here. With my girlfriend at the time, who was from Morocco, whose name was Jamilia Ganun Zaydan. She spoke like five languages, and at the time, I thought, oh my God, she speaks more than one language. She's very sophisticated. And uh, now I meet people that do that, and I'm like, oh, so you only speak the three? <laughs> I mean, I'm only fluent in English and Espanol, I mean, uh, my tie is uh, bad, and I know, sadly, no Tagalog, um, but I'm working on it. This is pretty awesome. I actually, I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to kind of savor this, dude, and like take it all in. I'll upload a little bit of video from, from me just like strolling around here, but I got to tell you, there's, uh, 
I think I can add a lot more value if I just do this. If I just share the beach with you. And certainly not my face. So anyway, it's Mike from Bahia Honda Key. In the lower keys in Florida. Saying I hope you're living the dream. So if you're not living the dream, you're doing it wrong. And you're not in the Florida Keys. <laughs> Ciao.